heavyweight contender, a TV analyst, BJ Flores. First off, let's start with the Boxing Hall of Fame here in Nevada. Guys like Marvin Hagler, Tito Trinidad, Marco Antonio Barrera, Muhammad Ali are getting inducted. How does it feel to be around such royalty in the sport? Oh, it's amazing. Um, very privileged and honored to be on the carpet with these guys. Marvelous Marvin Hagler uh, was the commentator with ESPN on my 11th pro fight. I fought Frank Walker um, in 2006, and Marvelous Marvin Hagler was in studio with Brian Kenny. He was one of my favorite fighters when I was a kid. I remember watching the fights with, um, you know, John Mugabe, the fights with uh, Thomas Hearns. Uh, he, was, he was one of my favorites. So when he actually called one of my fights, it was so meaningful to me. And on the on the broadcast, he said, look for this kid to become a champion. Still hasn't happened yet, but I still got time. But I, I want to talk to him and see if he remembers that. But he's, he's one of my favorite fighters. Let's talk about that. You just had a shot at the interim um, title, uh, WBA. And the fight didn't go your way. You fought uh, Shubinov, David Shubinov. And you outlined him in the punch stats. And I know you were pretty vocal after with your displeasure in the scoring. I mean, I feel like, I mean, like, like, like you said in the question, the fight didn't go my way. I feel like the fight did go my way. I just don't think the judges, uh, I think they just gave too much credit for, uh, for running and moving. And, uh, you know, he fought a good fight. I'm not saying he didn't. He was smart. He was intelligent. But, you know, when you get outlanded in 10 of the 12 rounds, I don't know how you win 8 to 4. I really don't, especially when he was jabbing. The majority of the punches he landed were jabs. Um, no clean right hands, no clean hooks. I mean, I was stalking him. I was chasing him. I got a little sloppy at times because I got over anxious because he wasn't, you know, trying to fight. So it made it difficult. But at the end of the day, I still hit him quite a few more times than he hit me, and that's the objective in boxing. So, um, you know, life goes on. Well, he's got uh, Ishmael Salas for this fight. He has the Cuban style. And we have a lot of these debates. We hear people saying the Cuban style is effective, running, not hitting, but it's boring. But then other people say if you're not the aggressor, it's hard to win the fight if you're not landing the harder shots. And that's kind of what I, I think with you outlining them and the bigger shots as well. Similar to that, though, what you said, Ryan, is, uh, you know, if you look back at the Canelo and the Lara fight, um, you know, a lot of people had Lara winning that fight. And, uh, um, you know, some of the judges said in particular that judged my fight, hey, no, Canelo was more aggressive. You got to give him those rounds. He was more aggressive on those close rounds. Well, you look at my fight, it kind of doesn't really match up to what they said, but those, some of those exact same judges who judged that fight were judging my fight. So it's just, you know, it goes both ways. kind of depends on what mood they're in, I guess. So what's next for you? Are you looking for the rematch? Are you looking to move on? And I'd love a rematch. I would absolutely love a rematch, but, I mean, he, he escaped. I mean, he, he really escaped with that. I mean, he, he slid out. Like, he did everything he could um, just to not make contact and not get hit. Got the victory. I mean, got outlanded in 10 of the 12 rounds and got the victory. So, I mean, would you do a rematch? I don't know. I would love one, but I mean, right. I, I doubt his team's going to be interested in doing a rematch. They've already got the fight with Lebedev set up in Russia or Kazakhstan for big money. So, I mean, uh, so, so what's I don't next know. for you? Any idea when you might be back? I want to be back moment? ASAP. I don't have a mark on me. I don't even feel like I was in a fight. So, and, and to me, that wasn't my definition of a fight at all. So, um, you know, I can come back. I can come back next week. I don't have any bruises or any injuries or anything. Bay Boots had a few controversial fights, especially his rematch with um, Campillo that a lot of people thought Campillo beat him at the Hard Rock here in Vegas, too. Do you think just that and going to this fight, I'm not trying to put you on the spot so much, but that maybe there might be something else going on or people are looking at his fights differently? Yeah, 100%. Like, I mean, if you look at the Campillo fight, uh, I mean, it's a very different fight than my fight, but right. the Campillo fight, nobody thought he won. Not some people. Nobody thought Bay Boot won. And, you know, one of the judges had him winning 93, so, um, you know, it is what it is. I don't know what it is, but it is definitely something. And then the fight with uh, Bernard, if that would have happened in Vegas, Bernard might have lost that fight too. I, I don't know. Like, yeah. one judge had him losing 114, 113 in that fight where Bernard clearly, clearly beat him and dropped him. And one judge still had Baby winning. So, I don't know what it is. I mean, something about this guy, he always gets uh, he gets those uh, benefits of the doubt in the fights where he loses. So. Talking about Shumanov going around. 